Hello and welcome to my tutorial on balancing chemical equations. So, if we look at this example, we have nitrogen and hydrogen to make ammonia. So, we need N2 plus 3H2 to make 2NH3. So, two nitrogen atoms, yep. So, we balance, so the objective of the game is to balance the same number of atoms on both sides of the arrow. 3 times 2 is 6, so 2 times 3 is also 6, so we balance our equation fully. So, a good, good set of techniques to remember when balancing equations in exams is to write down the chemical equation for the reaction using the appropriate symbols from the periodic table. Count how many atoms on the right hand side you have on the and on the left hand side. Place the numbers in front of each species, an atom or molecule reaction to balance each side. Finally, check that both sides have the same number of molecules and atoms or molecules. So we'll try a few more examples now. I'll let you have a go at these, so come back when you're done. Okay, hopefully you had a go at those examples, so now we'll go through some. So, 2 lithium plus 1 mole of oxygen would make 2 moles of this, as I need 2, two atoms of oxygen in order to get 2 molecules of this, so therefore it would also double this quantity here. Note if I put 2O2, this would double to 4. Yeah, this would double to 4. And that would double to 8. Double to 4. And that's 8 now. So, hopefully, you got that one right. We'll move on now to the next one. So aluminium plus sulfuric acid equals uh, Al2SO4 three times. So having a look, we need three SO4, so I'll just stick three there. Al needs to go twice. In order to make one molecule of this, we need two and three of that. So hopefully you got that one right too. And C3H8 plus O2 equals CO2 plus H2O is a, ge is a ge general combustion reaction. So you need three carbon dioxide because there's three carbons here. And you need four because there are eight hydrogens here. Now, calculating the number of oxygens you need, three times two is six, and four times one is four. So half in that number you now need 5O2 molecules. So hopefully that was quite easy. Now we'll move on to the next example. A student heated 2.5 grams of sodium nitrate, which decomposes in this chemical equation. 2Na plus Cl2 gives 2NaCl. So I'll go through this example now and Hopefully you'll find this useful when I give you an example in a bit. Okay, so 2.925 grams, we're finding the moles of sodium chloride, so 2.925 over 23 plus 35.5 gives 58.5, and this gives 0 0.05 moles. So now looking at the chemical equation, 2 moles to 1 mole, so 0 0.05 to 1 mole, which is exactly half that. And 2 moles on this side, giving 0 0.05 moles. So knowing this, we can now tackle part C. So part C now, sodium 
which is we're calculating the masses of sodium and, and chlorine that would form that amount. So, sub sodium we'd have to arrange the mole formula mole moles equals mass over MR. This time it will be moles times MR, so I'll put mole times MR. So looking it up on the periodic table, it would be 0 0.05 times 23 equals 1.15 grams. And looking chlorine up on the periodic table, but noticing that my chlorine is a diatomic gas, so I need to times the value of chlorine by 2, which is 0 0.025, oops, uh, 0.025 times 35.5 times 2 in brackets and that gives you 1.775 grams so that's the example done now I'll give you one to look at a chemist reacted 0.23 grams of sodium with water to form 250 centimeters cubed of aqueous sodium hydroxide hydrogen gas was also produced the equation is shown below 2 sodium plus 2 waters gives 2 sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. So, part A will calculate the amount of moles of sodium that reacted. Part B will calculate the volume of hydrogen formed at room temperature and pressure. And part C will calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide formed in moles per decimeter cubed. I'll give you 5 seconds to answer the question and we'll go through it from there on. Okay, hopefully you answered that question and now you're ready for the answers. So, for part A, it'll be 0 0.23 all over 23, the molecular mass of sodium, which is 0 0.01 moles. For part B, looking at the equation, we have 2 moles to 1 mole of hydrogen, so 0 0.01 over 2 is 0 0.005 moles. So converting it to the volume of H2, we have 0 0.005 times 24,000, which is the amount of centimetres cubed in one decimeter of gas so we have 120 centimeters cubed of that once you times two together and for part C looking at the equation again 2 to 2 means 1 to 1 so 0 0.01 times 1000 all over 250 equals 0 0.04 moles per decimeter cubed. So, hopefully, you found that question easy. If not, I have more past paper questions. So, quick summary of the techniques write down the chemical equation for the reaction using the appropriate symbols for the periodic table, count how many atoms on the right hand side and left hand side place numbers in front of the species, react on the balance each side, and then check that both sides are the same number of atoms and molecules. So thank you for watching.